Hello everybody, it's the 2nd of December, which means only one thing, welcome to Stitchmas Day 2! For today's Stitchmas, I'm going to be showing you how to turn this to this. This is a fleecy throw that I've picked up from Wilkinson's. It was actually reduced from £10 to £5. There aren't any online at the moment, so I won't link it below, but you can get them still in store, so it's worth having a look. And they do them in a variety of colours. This isn't an advert, it's just a bargain I found. Now this particular throw is 130 centimetres by 170 centimetres. You will not need all of this. You can get a couple of hot water bottle covers, maybe three or four out of this. So this is a really great investment for five pounds. You'll also need your hot water bottle, now this can be a hot water bottle of your choice. It can be a really big one, a little one, one of those amazing long ones that I've seen. Um, so you can adapt this to work to whichever hot water bottle you've got, okay? So without further ado, let's get into the video. We're going to start just by unwrapping it. Now I'm going to keep back this ribbon because I'm actually going to use it in my project. So if I just snip this off here, little bit of a hole, but that's perfectly fine. And then I'm just going to snip off these Velcro bits as well. They can go in the bin. This one and this one. So we're really using as much of this as we can, which is fabulous. So we're going to put these aside and we'll use these later on. So we open up our lovely throat. Oh my goodness, it is so soft. Wow, look at that, isn't it lovely? Now there is a right and a wrong side to this. I can just see a slight difference. So do bear in mind, this is huge. So you will get a few out of this. This fabric is super, super soft. So if you want to stabilize this in any way, then do feel free to do so. Right, so the first thing we want to do is lay our hot water bottle on our fleecy fabric. Now I'm going to use the top of this fabric here because it's already been hemmed, so I might as well use that in my project to save me from doing that. So I'm going to lay the top of the hot water bottle about three inches down from the top, and I want to cut out a margin of at least three inches all the way around. So I'm just going to use my rotary cutter and I'm just going to cut out a square of fabric and it's certainly going to make it a lot more easy for me to manage. So now we want to cut this out. So we want a really nice curved edge around the bottom here. We want to come out a good two inches, but we really want to focus on that curved edge. From that curved edge, we're gonna go straight along the sides. We're gonna come in slightly and then we're going to go straight up, okay? We want a tiny, curve on the shoulders of the hot water bottle here but not too much so just slightly come in and curve again I'm just going to use my rotary cutter so I'm just going to cut this down to two inches on the sides so at these corners here we're just going to come in slightly and then straight up okay so come in slightly and then straight up so that's the basic shape of our hot water bottle cover that shape. Beautiful. So we're going to cut another one of those out and we can use this as our template. We've got two pieces now. So what I recommend is you, you zigzag stitch around the outside of each of them just to contain the fluff. So we've got our front and our back piece. So what we need to do now is to create the channel in which our ribbon is going to sit. The easiest way to make your channel is to measure from where your top edge starts to curve. That's your mark, but you want to come in half an inch. So measure this and then cut a piece that's half an inch shorter. So there's my two channel pieces. Now, of course, these are super fluffy again. The best way, again, is to go over those edges with your zigzag stitch. You want to do all four edges. Okay, so now we've got our two channels, what we need to do is attach them on. So you need to bring in your front and back piece and you're going to attach these on just slightly below the curve of that, those shoulder markings and you're going to attach it to the right side. We're just going to pin it together 
and a simple running stitch top and bottom to attach this not at the sides because that's where your ribbon is going to come through but just top and bottom and the same on the other one a great way of making sure that they are level is lining the top edge of both pieces and then you can eyeball where exactly where you need that one to lay pin them both together like that and a simple running stitch top bottom top and bottom you can really see now how that tunnel has completely disappeared into the body of our fabric really awesome so do the other one as well okay so we have front and back we're going to pop them right sides together so the tunnels are facing each other line up the top and we're going to stitch all the way around the outside this is going to take you know it's quite a few layers so just take your time i would recommend doing a zigzag stitch to join them together um, if you've got an overlocker this is perfect for that if you haven't you could do a running stitch all the way around to tack them together and then zigzag them together okay so that's stitched together let's turn it right side out push out those lovely edges Oh, isn't that just luxurious the great thing about this fabric is because it's quite stretchy my water bottle is going to fit in that opening there which is fantastic so, the ribbons that we saved from earlier here's our hot water bottle cover the ribbons we used from earlier what we're going to do is we're going to feed it through one side and it's really easy to do because we've made a really lovely channel and then we're going to flip it over and feed it through the back so we've got two on one side like that and then with the other ribbon we're going to do the opposite so we're going to come in the side that we've got the fold pull that through like that and then we're just going to go over the top of these two and bring it through the back just hold on let's get that through the back So now we've got ribbons either side you can take hold of both and then you can pull it um, isn't that absolutely beautiful so we open it out now the ends of the ribbon you want to make a little bit neater you can trim off like this and a good idea is to get a lighter and just ever so slightly scorch the end of these ribbons and that just means that that's not going to fray so we'll put our hot water bottle inside. I've placed my hot water bottle inside. I'm just going to gently pull on these. Lovely. And then you can tie these into a bow. Like that. On one side. And then on the other side. Obviously, your, no, your bows will probably be a bit neater than my bows, but you get the idea. So there we go. There is our super hot water bottle cover. There we have it. There's the finished hot water bottle cover. I am thrilled with this. I think it looks really, really cute. I know of a little cute girl that would really enjoy this and probably her mum would enjoy it too. So I hope that you have a go at making this. I know the fluff can be a little bit difficult, but just hang in there and maybe stop and clear out the fluff from your machine as you go. That would be a really great piece of advice. I hope to see you tomorrow for day three of Stitchmas. It's another really fun one and another gift idea. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe for all my notifications. Thanks. Bye.